Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. People were worshipping the cross. So what is founded instead, you started worshipping the moon. Ah, they start worshiping the moon? Yeah, man. Ah. They've been worshiping the moon all their lives. Ah. Is that true? That's, so that's true. what it is. Passing that's true. That's true. Yeah. They realize it's that's no true. longer a church. Ah, it's a moon god worshiping place. All the moon worshippers can come and worship their moon. Yeah, that's why they put the moon on top of it. Because Quraysh was a Sabian tribe. So now we realize, he yeah, you're understand, pagan. look. Firstly, this gentleman has no understanding of Islamic history. Okay, Arabia, tell me Arabia, Islamic history. Don't, tell me, don't, tell don't, me don't, which don't, tribe don't, was Muhammad from, Quraysh. What sorry. was the god of Quraysh? Tell me, were they Sabians or were they Christians or were they Jews? Firstly, answer Arabia, the question. In Arabia, in Hijaz, in where Mecca and Medina was, there is no historical evidence that the pagan Arabs ever worshipped a god which is a moon god. Lies! 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 Sabian! Sabian! I will show you all the Sabians were star worshippers. They're still there. There's two types of Sabians. One that also follow John the Baptist. But there is also the original Sabians from Haran. Haran is the place where Abraham used to worship before he became a prophet. The, the, the origins where Gobli Tepe is, where they have the pillars, that is worship of the idols from the very beginning. And that's Haran, and that's Sabian, and that's who Muhammad was worshipping. Get it? That was Quraysh. Hey, Sabians, right? Sabians. What are the principal deities of Sabians? What are you talking about? They worship the moons and the stars and all the gods. I'm asking you once again. Listen what? Listen carefully. What are the principal deities of the Sabians within the Arabian Peninsula that you... Sun, see? moon, god, all of them. All the stars and the moon, sun and the moon. And what is the name of this moon god that they worship? Habal. Habal is a moon god? Yeah. And who told you that? It's in the history. Hubal. Which history book? Sin. Sin was his name. Oh, now it's not Hubal anymore. Sin and Hubal. In different languages, different cultures, it's Hubal and Sin. It's all there. It's all there, yeah. Sin was a moon deity in which region? Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. And where is Mecca in Mesopotamia? What do you mean? Like, I said Sabians. They came from there. Remember. What do you mean? So, okay. He's dodging the question. The question again. Again, the question comes. Let's ask you a question one more pagans, time. What was the Quraysh's tribe? What was the name of the tribe? What was the just religion of the Quraysh tribe? What was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, tell me, what was the religion of Quraysh? I'm going back now. Yeah. Let him not come any forward. No, no, you go back so you can get out of the view of the camera. So you can be out of the view of the camera. Okay, go ahead. Start lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Yeah, start it. Within the Arabian Peninsula, where Prophet Muhammad was situated, did the pagan Arabs worship a moon god? Yeah. 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 That's why you put where, the moon up there. Where is the evidence that in Hijaz, in, in Mecca, in Medina, that the pagan Arabs worship the moon? Well, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I will give it to him. You want that? What were the idols that Muhammad destroyed in Mecca? What were they representing? He does. I asked a question. I'm waiting for the answer. I am asking you the question. You the Hello, I asked you a question. What were the 365 me, idols? I asked you. It's in your you sources. It, it's in your sources. The question I asked is, what is your evidence that within the Hijaz region, where Prophet Muhammad was most situated, Mecca and Medina... Did Muhammad Arab... not get rid of the idols I in Mecca? You. I ask you again. Please keep lying. Oh, you. dodge, dodge. Oh, Run around. Be Dance fair, around the fair, question. He's dancing around the question. If someone makes a claim, who has the owners to substantiate the claim? I, I just gave you the substantiation. Did not Muhammad destroy the idols of Mecca? Yeah, and what were they? 
What do you mean? What were they? Yeah, tell me what were they? What they were Sabians. No. Muhammad's tribe was Sabian tribe. I if you go into history, what? you will see the Sabians. Even in Quran, <laughs> even in Quran, it says they were star worshippers. Yeah, yeah. Keep a distance Quran. and tell me uh, what were the idols that Rasulullah. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, my friend. Idols are idols. Idols are what not idols? of Jesus. Idols, of idols are not idols. Uh, moon and sun and all the stars and planets uh, that they believe so in. You are now making the claim that the idols that Prophet Muhammad destroyed, they were idols of the moon god and the sun god, is it? Is I said, point? no, he did not destroy the moon god because that was the god of Quraysh. He destroyed all the other ones except Where for his god. That was that is the that is the history. Okay. The pagan no, the pagan Quraysh has put the moon god on top of your mosque that you lied that Turks put it there. Turks are not in power. They were not in power before 1600 when Muslims were using this symbol. You are a liar. This symbol has been used by pagans for thousands of years. You are a liar. That's a lie. That's the truth. Let him finish. I'm finished. Right. So now. Claims after claims we hear is that pagan Arabs had the symbols of a moon god, the crescent, yeah. over the Kaaba. They worship the moon god. It's there now. But Look at the picture of Kaaba now. Listen, it's right uh, there. Yeah, I can see it. It's there. He said he finished. Right? So now, come on, somebody Google all, Kaaba. Look at the moon want, up on top of it. All we want yeah. is historical evidence to substantiate your silly claim. The pagan Silly claim! You Russia have not Muslim. answered the question. What was the what was the religion of Quraysh? Ah, that's a fair question. The question was. What was the religion? You made a claim. No, no, he oh, runs away. Oh, okay, oh, it's oh, over. Oh, you oh, lost. Oh, it's oh, over. Oh, you cannot answer the question. I asked you. Yeah, what was the? Uh, run away. Run away. I told you. I don't want to talk to you. You run away. You are not. You're not capable of answering anything. You think you are. You're not capable of answering anything. That's why it's a waste of time. This particular camera. This camera. This guy. I had one question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I know you love us. Now, so those of you who are really sincere, critical-minded, what I would suggest you do simply is go to expert academic historians such as anyone of your liking uh, any, any, <laughs> any professors <laughs> who are experts uh, give us know. one give us one yeah, it's only, it's only, it's only one I'm only one he's asking so, for one he yeah, did only i'm only repeating two. what he said any professors he's asking in run away reputable universities just run away already man where they are knowledgeable of the history of the Arabs. Where? Give it to us Lord, now. Ask them. Give it to us now. With they their words. Reference. And what you'll find, none of them will tell you that the pagan Arabs of the 7th century. As he cannot tell you. Or the 6th century. Or the 8th century. They never, within the Hijaz region, worshipped a moon god called a moon god. You will not find Fubal. anything. This gentleman Sin. who represents you doesn't deserve to represent you. Do you know why? Because why, he why, will why? look, make you look silly. <laughs> you should do he best. cannot give any answer. When, when you go and go and verify from the experts that there is no historical evidence. He doesn't know the experts. He's mentioning Arab the experts. Give us the example of the experts. Tell him that he needs to learn. Give us one name, Mansoor. Mansoor. Okay, are you done? Bye-bye. All right. One name, so here, we, here is Mr. Mansoor. I didn't want to discuss this with him because he's a runner. Just ah. like all the other ones. Ah. Run, run, run. Ask I asked him one question. He didn't answer. He's mentioned he experts saying nobody. I can Robert show him the experts Robert. and I will make a video after this yeah. to show you the experts Robert. who will tell you Robert. the Sabian Robert. war Robert. star worshippers. Yeah. They okay. were star worshippers. They were moon god worshippers. It's all evident. The preacher is mistaken. Tell him so afterwards. No, he's not. He will prove that's it to you fair. and I will make a video that's and fair. expose you. You are a runner. You are a liar. You don't deserve to be debated because you come from a place of lies with your deception of your God is full you. You come from a deceiver.
You are God is a deceiver and you are a deceiver. Go away with your deception. We don't need your deception. You can deceive all these people. Nothing you came. Nothing you came with the response. Quraysh was a Sabian tribe. Muhammad was a moon god worshipper. And he put the moon on top. And you know that. And you are still worshipping it. Even though the Turks are not in power, you can take that down. Who told you that? What? That Prophet Muhammad put a moon symbol on top of the Kaaba. Who told you that? Okay, so the, where, where, when was the moon put up there? No, who put it? Who told you that? Okay, so who put it up there? No, I'm asking you. You said that symbol has been around for thousands of years before Islam yes. by the pagans. And where did you get that information from? Go look at history. Which history? Which book? I will make a video, which, which show book? you the history he's talking Do about, you know which book? and get you which all of that. Which is Which get you? Which, which, name me the story. I will get you everything. No, tell me yeah. now. Okay. Which story? He does not have anybody. I will get you everything. Oh, you don't know. You just waffle. No, I don't. What do you mean that I don't know it? What? Which historian made that claim? I will show you the historian. Which historian made that claim? I don't have the name in my head right now. Any okay. academic works? That I can yes, find yes. Which one? I will get it to you. I will make a video. No. Proving you wrong, I just like. Video. No, I, I just asked you. You talk. could not come up with a single academic. Okay, you have a double standard. Right? Well, I, I asked you. you need to know? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Who is making no. Right. Oh, so if you read <laughs> Let me give you some references, right, for you to read. Do we have some more? Okay. Let's start with a few of them. What are you uh, getting references for for now? References to tell you what? that you were all the way waffling about. No, no, no. Arabian Be specific. What and their religion? What? And no, no, no. Tell me. What are you referencing? I am telling you now. What are you referencing? Moon God was not worshipped in Hijaz. Moon God was not worshipped in Hijaz. Okay. Let's see. So I want you to go and read. Show me, show me. I'm not show you. I'm going to ask you to read them. No, 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 no. You said you're going to pull up the references. It's going to show us that there was no moon God worship in Hijaz. I asked you to show that. I will show you the literature and all the history about the Sabians and that no, they, no, no, they were following this. We are oh, Sabians about, were in Arabia. Listen, yeah. in the, in the, in the Islamic tradition, there were Sabians. Century, they are were the the yeah, people. man, he's, so, he's such a liar. Yeah. The, are the Sabians not mentioned in the? In the are the Sabians not mentioned? Listen. Are the oh, Sabians? You you're off. You're saying you're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. Do you know who says? But they, people who do you know who keeps saying when you when, when you keep lying? When you keep lying, is a takia. It's illegal. It's legal in Islam to lie. So you are a liar because your 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 God is a deceiver and he sends you to deceive and lie. So that's fine for you, but not for me. I don't lie. You can okay, read. you can lie as much as you want. Let me tell you about the South Arabia and North Arabia. Rickman, J. Rickman, South Arabia, religional, in D. N. Friedman, editor in chief in Uncle Bible Dictionary, vol 190, 1992, volume six, double door, New York. Well, let me see it. Let me see it. I'll take a picture of it. Let me see it. No, no, I will take Why a picture. Yeah, no, no, I will take a picture. Let me just double check. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Take a picture. All right, let's see. Okay. South Arabia. All you right. can find out what the religious belief system is. Go ahead. Is, let's believe. see. There was no moon god worshipping pagans in Hijaz at the time of Muhammad. Yeah? There were no one who had a worship of moon god in Prophet Muhammad's in, in, the, in that region, yeah? yeah. Okay. Uh, what? And what was the name of the moon god for everyone's record? Sin. Sin. In certain tradition, it also goes by Hubal. 
which is also called Baal. Yeah. Do we have historical evidence that Hubal was ever called a moon god? Uh, you want me to pull up all the resources? Like I said, I'm going to get you everything. First Sin God. Claim, then you put okay, evidence. fine. You, you haven't what, proved anything. You're, you're, anything. you're wasting, you're wasting my anything. time. You don't pull up the references. I'm setting up the frame. But he hasn't made up the reference. Right. But he has, he's right. to prove right. the reference. Are you he just said. He just. Well, where's the, where's this proof? Did you ask him, where's the reference? Where's the reference? He doesn't bring it up. I will, I told your camera, I will produce all the, Evidence for the, all these claims. And what are the, the claims you're proving? Win. That Hubal uh, that Hubal yeah. was the god of uh, of uh, Quraysh. No, Sin god, the, the moon god. Us. That is why you have the moon on so top of your mosque. So, so. You guys are moon god worshippers. Are you going to prove to us that Hubal was a moon god? Before Muhammad created Islam, he worshipped the goddess a lot. Are you going to prove to us? The mother time? goddess Allah was listening? actually the consort of pagan god prove? Allah. So are you, you guys are full of paganism. Are you going to prove to us that Hubal is a moon god? Yes. Right. That's his claim. Is okay, I will get you the video. We'll take all that. Uh, what? We will wait for the reference and we will see what Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't given the reference. He told us he's going to give. I am not making a He did not give the you reference. He just... Change. No, you just you went in your liar. phone Save and said, I'm going to give you the camera. reference right now. And you didn't. What? He's what? a liar. And you guys know it. What? I will get I you know. all of that. There will I be a follow-up video. I, I read that also for you. you. The Arabian mythology, Hubal, was a god worshipped by pre-Islamic Arabia. Listen, read this. Read it. Yeah, in Arabia mythology, Hubal... Arabic was God worshipped in pre-Islamic Arabia, notably by the Quraysh in the in Mecca. Go away, go away, man. Go away with your lies. Did you see that? Stop lying. He is deceiving in front of you. Hubal is a moon god. That's what it says. Does he say that? Can I can you, uh, you can laugh? You can laugh. In the end, you guys will cry. In the end, you will cry. When Jesus comes, you will cry. That's okay. You believe Jesus is coming back. Not Muhammad. He is dead. Muhammad is dead under the ground. Does he say Hubal was a moon god? Yeah? And, that, and that's the... That's no, the does he say Hubal was a moon god? That's the... That's no, no, no. how they, they picked it. Yeah, let's that's read it here. Why don't you read it? Loco, loco. Read it. What? That's, what that's how... What read it. it. Say it again. I, I missed it. Read it. Like no, I'm not going to repeat it for you. Go read it yourself. We just read it for everybody. It's on camera. Listen to it on the camera. Listen to it on the camera. I just read it. Huh? Yeah. It's in the... Why? It's on the camera. It's in the camera. Watch the camera. I will show you everything. It's okay. What? I read it in front of you. It is. What was the, what was the, the god of Quraysh? What, what was it? Okay, no, let's say it's not. What was it? You tell me. Just tell me what was the god of Quraysh. Just do that. You guys are liar and deceiver. Can't answer one simple question. Who is the god of Quraysh at the time of Muhammad? I'm asking a question. I asked a question. All these Muslims standing there have no answer. Come on, you answer it. You answer it. You answer it. You answer it. Who is going to answer? What was the god of Quraysh at the time of Muhammad? You made the claim. The Quraysh has many gods. You made the claim. But none of them was the moon god. Which one? Which one was their god? They didn't have a moon god. Which one was their god? You make a claim sure, sure, it was yeah. a moon god. Okay. You need to substantiate. You no, I substantiated because Muhammad had the moon put up, put up in the. Where's your, on the where's your evidence? Go look at Mecca. Sure. Go look at Mecca. Sure, it's sure. got the moon god up there. Making an academic claim. Okay. So the, the, the Kaaba doesn't have the moon. The, doesn't have the moon. The Christian polemics. That's what they do. I don't you see. Like, I don't yeah, yeah. They, they worship three gods, and then they expect. They say Muslim worship one. So this is what you get. This is what you get. Uh, we don't. We don't worship These three gods. Christian yeah, of course you do. So who's Jesus? Who's the spirit? Claims. They're making academic claims. When you ask them to substantiate it himself, go look it up. Go and make an out. It was a divert. He was. They don't want to get caught out liar. He was a liar. He was a liar. He didn't want to get divert in here. Can you find it? He didn't look for it. So this is the level of dishonesty of these people. That's right. In front of your own... Oh, thank you. Clearly in front of you. Well, so much deceiving. 
سبحان الله ما الله سيد اس اس اوكي سير يو كان ميك يور بوينت بس يو ار نوت جيفينج اس ذا ايفيدنس سو يو كان بروف ات ور لوكينج فور ايفيدنس نو نو سو تيل مي دو يو نوت هاف ذا مون اون توب اوف يور ماسك اي دونت وونت تو كول يو ا لاير وات نو تيل مي يو دونت هاف ذا مون اون توب اوف يور ماسك سو هيرز ذا ثينج يو ميد ذا كليم ذاتس كومبليتلي فاين رايت وي كان اجري That's fine. You can give us a paper, you can give us a historian, you can give us a study, as all science is debated, to substantiate your claim. You're not doing this. I can't tell you and I can't prove a negative. Okay, the camera, look at this picture. Sir, sir this <laughs> is, is a show photo. To the camera, not to you. Look at this. Show sir, picture this is a photo. What is this? This is a photo. What, uh, this is a false photo? No, okay, it's a false photo. Give all right, evidence, all right, all right, all right. What about this mosque? What about all these mosques? What about it? What wait, about wait, it? sir. So, sir, what is the moon doing on top of your mosque? You, okay. What okay. is the moon doing on top of your mosque? Tell us, what is the moon doing? Well, tell me. I told you, what? it's a moon god. You're worshiping okay. moon god. Where is your? This isn't evidence. Okay. I asked you a question. I answered your question. Yeah, okay. I showed you. Well, well, you have the moon on top of your mosque. You want to know why there's a crescent? Yeah. You know? Because it represents. Uh, what does it represent? A time of Ramadan. The moon in Islam is we count times the months, right? So Islam goes by the lunar calendar exactly. rather than the solar calendar. So the symbol of the moon is representing only for counting the purposes. Quran mentions when the um, Ottomans okay. put it up Yassin, there in the top of the building, it's uh -huh. to differentiate between the churches and everything else, and Islam. so that this is an Islamic place of worship. That's a good they did not, as I said earlier, they did not destroy all the churches that they have conquered or they opened up. They simply put a sign there. But now, no this moon, is an Islamic place of worship. They left the whole building intact. Right. So this is the tradition of the Ottoman rabbi. This doesn't mean the Ottoman somehow made all of the Muslims worship a moon god, because the Quran itself says, do not prostrate to the sun or to the moon, but prostrate to the one who created okay. them both. Did you not even heard about this? All right, so he said, that the moon is the calendar and that is what it represents the time lunar calendar all right we all heard that right now let's go there lunar calendar was followed by the jews by the indians by the the whole world was following moon calendar hindus were following moon calendar did they put the moon on top of their temple did the jews put the moon on top of their uh, synagogue what is the significance of putting the moon it's a, it's like a timepiece it's like a device that god used for keeping time did he say start worshiping it and putting it on top Who's of your, your why are you putting it on top of your mosque if i put a cross in there does mean i'm worshiping the cross you're venerating it yeah you're venerating it because we have a significance of cross what's the significance of moon i just told you don't you what me? no because time so time keeping is something okay yeah you, okay so time no but do you understand that time was kept the same way by all the cultures listen to me first if you want me to answer you got to listen to what i'm saying oh now he wants me to listen to me if you want me to because you're 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 engaging me so before before you engage me no before you yeah so i told you he just lied he said that because the moon that is not the significance everybody was having the moon calendar nobody would put the moon on top if you are using a car to get somewhere from here to there it's a device it's something that you're using to do something if you're telling time god kept the moon yes it's true christians jews everybody was following the moon for calendar why would you put it on top of your mosque okay, what, what, you tell us now okay no don't don't wait i'm not finished i'm not finished let me finish let me finish let, let me yeah let me finish now earlier he said we didn't do it the turks did it that argument now is gone because the turks didn't put it it was because muhammad told us to follow it because the moon is what our calendar what kind of deception is this in front of you he deceives you didn't he say that earlier brother did prophet muhammad did you did he not hear and say did prophet muhammad as a command us to put a symbol of the moon on the top of the mosques did he no he didn't no so why did you put it there you made the claim earlier on prophet himself put it up there and it was always there before the turks came into the power did our religious places like mosques did they have the crescent symbol on the top of the mosques no there was did the flags have the crescent moon 
Then the flags have the crescent moon. I'm telling you, before, before the Turks instigated this symbol on top of the mosques, what were the mosques having on top of them? Did they have a symbol of the crescent there? No. Before the Turks came into power, were there any mosques with the symbol of a crescent? I'm asking you, and we are waiting to hear. Go ahead, you're making your point. You need to answer. Before the Turks came into power, and they started... Keep changing your story, come on, now no, new, new story, come on. Listen, yeah, I'm listening. So, so what's when the, the point Turks, you want brother, to yeah. when the I'm answering again. When course. the Turks came into power, the Ottomans, uh -huh. the Turks came into power, this is one of the things they did to differentiate between religious places of worship instead of demolishing the whole building. People are leaving, man. It's why, getting why, tiring. Why you're you you're tedious. Your way? arguments are tedious, bro. Everybody's why getting tired of you. No, man, answer keep... So what? So let what? Me yeah, answer me. Is it is it calendar based? Thank you very much. So okay, go ahead. Saying, when the Ottomans was in power, huh? When the Ottomans uh -huh. were in power, yeah, and they opened up the lands, when they went to different places, they had conquered, opened up these lands in which the religious places were. Trying. You said it before. Can you stop repeating yourself, bro? I don't have so much time. I'm summarizing. Please. You have some little bit of comprehension issues. Go ahead, go trying ahead. To get I'm to trying to say, it. you've I'm been going on, come on, go ahead. Right, so they made sure, instead of building and erecting new mosques altogether, they simply converted those buildings into mosques. Not by demolishing everything, by putting a mihrab, removing or covering some of those iconic yeah. icons, right, yeah. on the windows and so on, yeah. removing the idols of of your man god and so on, remove all of that and remove the cross which you venerate, you can say, which you worship, remove all of that and put a symbol of, of your veneration. Just use the word veneration. Word veneration. Because you're replacing the prime. Look, if you put it somewhere else, you replace that symbol with this symbol in a replacement. A replacement means you're venerating it, you're putting it in the face of reference. Stop lying, you're deceiving. There are people who think, you know what, if you, if you were worshipping a frog before, and now you worship a man, it's the same thing. That is analogy. Islam says rather, no, it's not. When you abandon idol worship, full stop. No idol worship. Oh, just. So when they put the symbols, in their flag, they had La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Where? Where? Is it on, on the moon? Is it written on the moon? La ilaha illallah. In a flag, were there any moon in the flag? No, of course there were. Were. Yes, there were. You lied. What is the what is this flag? What is the flag of Pakistan, Iran, uh, the Turkey? All these flags have the moon and the star. Do you have a comprehension issue? What? Am I talking about Pakistan today? No. I'm okay. About Even the ancient the times, time they were the flying the flags of crescent moon. First, when Prophet Muhammad was some went with his companions to fight, what did his flag say? A crescent symbol? It had crescent moons on it. Yes. As well as your thing, so what? Just look at this camera and say that again once again. Look at your, your own camera and say that again. Yeah, yeah. Muslim, the the Muslims when they were conquering, no, they no, had no, crescent no, moon no, on Muslim. their flags. Look how he's the done. Muslims, no. what? Say, when Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, say, when Prophet Muhammad was fighting, his flag had gone to us. What? No, I'm saying, no, I'm not going to say what you want me to say. That's what you said. No, I said the Muslims are flying the crescent moon flag whenever they were conquering. Let me ask you again. No. When Prophet Muhammad when he was fighting, he had a flag. What was in the flag? Was there a crescent symbol in the flag? There might have been. Was there? I'll find out for you. So you I think know. there were. You no, know. not right now. Because. Oh, so you know, no, no. What? Okay, okay, fine. Find okay. out and tell us. If you find out that this wasn't the case, that means then that your the, whole the, argument. No, it doesn't. Okay, no, push. it doesn't. What uh, my argument? You didn't get it. I said all the conquests that the Muslims were doing were under the flag of the crescent. And I will prove that to you. This is pre Turkish time. This is right after this Abu Bakr time or Uthman time, Abu Bakr time, when they were doing conquering, 
they were following, they had the crescent moon okay. as their symbol. Repeat that once again. Why? Because people may have missed it. And he may have edited it. Are you trying to say that Muslims worship the moon? Is that okay. what you're trying to say? Not knowingly. Okay. Okay. This is called deception. But Allah is a deceiver. Muhammad was a deceiver. He did not destroy all the gods of pagan. He kept one of them that was Quraysh's god of Paganism was the moon god why? because he that was his tribe. Why? Okay. No, no. Why would why, why would Muhammad lead us to unknowingly worship the moon? What is the reason for something like this? Because, why lie? Okay. Why? Why? Because Muhammad is a liar, deceiver. You, you, just, just, because in your Quran it says Allah is a deceiver. A, a deceiver does not send a person of truth. A deceiver only sends a deceiver. In the Bible, God is not a deceiver. Wait, 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 sir, wait. You're saying our you Quran says that Allah is a deceiver? Yeah. Our Makar. Quran says it. Makar. Please show us. Makar. Please show us. Does it mean deceiver? No, no, no. What does Makar mean? What is Makar? It says that. Just no, no, go ahead. Show it. No, no, I'm not. Lana, Lana. Sir. Okay. Ask, them to, okay. Ask them to deny it. Ask them to deny it. Ask them to deny it. That ma uh, the Quran doesn't say that Allah is a mocker. You're making a claim. Okay, and then you're well, saying, I'm the, not gonna it's all over. Me. It's all over the place. Come go, on, go, man. go on YouTube. Open your you, no, you have phone. Sir, you're making the phone. Open, open the phone and type in. If I Allah you, is a deceiver, mocker, and then tell me it's not there. If I tell you the Bible, no, it's not it's there. Two hundred pages. No, no, no. I have to prove it. No, you no. can't prove me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why is he defending that then? Come, my friend, listen. I'm listen, sure, what is Allah? Listen, well, is Allah not a market in the Quran? Listen, Let me put it another. Let me put it another way for you. For Let it. me put it another Go way. Does the Quran mention? that Allah is a market, I yes or no? You, you don't know, okay, fine. If you don't know, then go and find out. When you know, then tell me. When you come and say it is not in, the, in there. So now, remember what he said. You will, you know, give me some understanding the word makar. Oh, okay, okay. Now he's going to explain me makar. Before we do that, okay. Um, in Jeremiah, Oh, uh, now he's talking about. In, in I'm not Bible, okay, but you know this debate is basically over because away. you just couldn't it's answer and have to run away. So he's gonna go. He's in gonna Jeremiah, go to Bible now because he can't answer from in, Muslim in sources. Jeremiah 4:10. Then I said, "Alas, sovereign Lord, how completely you have deceived these people in Jerusalem by saying you have peace when the sword is our throats." So the yeah. Bible says what? No. God is a deceiver. No, it does oh, not. Man. It does not. He says, no, that. this is a story of a... Of, I, I know read what it says. I know what read it says. It. I know what no, it says. Read it. I'm not reading it. I know what no, it I'm says. Right I, you just read it. You just read it. How it's a story. Listen. No. So your God no. Is a no, no, it's not. Case closed. No, it's not. See you later. Sorry. Don't misinterpret the Bible and try to make your case. Don't misinterpret it. I just Here's read the it. He gave you a point. Your Quran says Allah is the greatest of deceivers. Our Quran says it. Yes. Okay. Give us, give us the, the Bible verse. does yeah. not give say that. That's a prophet who's complaining to God, us, but he was mistaken. Analysis. What he has just said. One more. Are you a scholar? Therefore, God, brother, brother, brother. Here's one more. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. So your so, God. He's cherry picking the verses, misquoting them, and just doing what the Muslims always do. If you read the whole chapter, he's going to find out the context. So read out of context, read it out of context, read it out of context, and then make your point by cherry picking the verse. Read the whole chapter. Well, read the chapter. Bring it up. No, you tell me. The read the whole chapter. It's God sends a strong delusion. So no, they can be no, 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 no. Because of their heart, the hardness of their heart and is what God was saying. No, because what God said, do? that's what you want, then what go did ahead. That word. He did, did not do? deceive them. Wait, wait, what did God do? So you said he was no, deceiving. Brother, so brother, no, he did not brother. deceive them because of the hardness. Read the whole chapter. So ask him to read the whole chapter. Therefore, read the whole chapter, Mansoor. Wait a second, don't run now. No, I, no, you're the God sends them a strong decision. One verse is not the chapter. Stop Read that. the chapter, Mansoor. Stop, stop, stop misquoting the verse. Now, who is making people believe in the lie? Uh, Mansoor is reading out of context, cherry picking the verse. What is the context? Read the, read the full chapter. Read the full chapter. No, you tell me what's wrong with that. 
Fine. I just told you. You didn't believe it. No, tell me what's wrong with Read the chapter, bro. Okay. So now, the Bible. So okay. The Bible doesn't say that. Your Jesus, game is up. Your Instead game is up because your Quran Islamic says that deceiver, Islamic God is a God of deceit, deceit in his own and He sends deceivers. You eyes are deceived because your God is a Excuse deceiver, me. according to can your you own Quran. What it, means here? it does not mean what you're saying. Well, can it tell, does not mean God is, is a deceiver. What does it mean? It's a. It's what somebody is saying about God when they have a, this impression. So read the whole chapter. You'll get the. You'll get the context. Hang on, hang on. What, okay. what is it saying? Okay. What? What is it saying? I'm not going to go into that. I just told you. You misquoted it. And what is the right quotation? Read the full context. You tell me. Well, you read it. Oh, you no, brought no. up the word. Read the full context. I'm telling you. What's wrong with the text? No, then he. Why? Why doesn't he read it? Why is he not reading the full chapter? I can't say. I can't. Tell him to give it to me. I'll read it. If you read something like this in the Quran, read. I will read it. You read it. So, can we make full the full chapter? Show me the full chapter, bro. No, chapter two. Go chapter two. Okay. Read? Okay. Now. You can read the whole thing. Yeah, let him read it. Yeah. Now, concerning the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to Him, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by a spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship. So then he takes, can we move it up? Okay, uh, let me see where it is. Uh, so-called God, so object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things, and you know what is restraining him now, so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way and then the lawlessness one will, the lawless one will be revealed whom the god jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing go ahead this one's right here can you move it up what were you right reading here. right here the breath of his mouth which were you reading this one right here yeah. the lord jesus not god jesus okay so read uh, it correctly all right. what, what, the red hand what, 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 what was it? You Sorry? said God, Jesus. Well, it says no, God. you misheard. To uh, love the truth and be saved. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion. So that they... Did you re see don't, the context? Don't talk. Read. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to stop. Okay. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. In order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness it's very self-explanatory you read it out of context what does it, mean? it means the those people who reject jesus christ and keep on sinning after the the jal comes in this world which is the antichrist god will give them to their desires because they refuse god and follow the Antichrist. That's what it means. When it says, and therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. Yes. So, what is false? Right. So because God they are, they refuse. Something that is false. Because they refuse to believe Jesus. Instead, they are following Antichrist. So God deceives them to believe in something no, that is false. No, God gives them to their desire yes. what they wanted. Yeah, and makes them believe in something that is false. He does not make them. You making things up. Therefore, therefore God sends them a strong sends them delusion. A strong delusion. Who's deluding them? Okay. No. Who's He's, deluding okay. them? Okay. Now, Who's did you read? Them? Did you read the context? Who's deluding them? Okay. You read are them. they following Satan? Who's deluding them? Are they following Satan? Excuse me. Are they following Satan? I have no idea. You tell me. Oh, you don't know. Okay, <laughs> dude, go read it. Try to understand no. it. Stop okay. misquoting no, no. it. Tell me, it tell just me. says. I, I didn't. Say I will that. read it again for you. No, no, I don't want to read it again. Uh, You've read it. So now. So it says there. 
the Antichrist, the people who are following Antichrist, they refuse to follow Jesus. Okay, good. So let's say these okay. people are following Antichrist. That's it. Okay. Who is deluding them? So they will be condemned no, who is for their them? disbelief. How many times am I going to ask you? Who is deluding these people? He does not say that God is a deceiver. Your Quran says asking, Allah is a again. deceiver, is who, the biggest deceiver. Who is deluding them? Keep lying, bro. Who, Keep lying. Who is deluding them? Nobody. Look, listen. I'm what it says, I answered it. Who is deluding them? God sends a delusion. God is deluding them. No. God sends them a delusion for the hardness of their heart. So they did not God, want to follow it. If that God, is for. If God sends, brother, please, if God sends a delusion, who is deluding? God. Who is oh, a deceiver? God. God. No, God, God. God. Right. What are they? They are doing God. Satan. So they are following Antichrist. God you don't want to. Okay, so just what? go to the verse. So that they can he read God. the whole thing. He read it out of context. He doesn't want to put it in context. context. He wants to take it out of context. Keep butchering it context, until he can me. get his meaning. Tell me, in context. Keep butchering it. Wait. You're still not going to do slow anything down, slow except down. send your soul to where it's going. You know where As it's going. you read the text in context, yes. what does the text now mean in context? I told you. Again. Again. No, I'm not. It's on tape. Go back and look at the tape. You'll see it. Yeah. It's all done. Let me give you another one. Wait there. Until you get bashed by God. No, you got busted. You were lying. You misquoted the verse. The Bible does not say a oh, God is a deceiver. Your Quran says Makar. He is the greatest of Makar. Your Makar is exposed. Proper lesson today. Your Makar is exposed. Your Makar God is exposed. Wait a second. So now, as you realize, will you call your father a Makar? It Will you call your brother a makar? Why does the Quran call the God a makar when you will not you call your brother or your father a makar? So a makar is a fraud. God is a fraud in Quran. Will you call your father a makar? Do you know Arabic language what makar means? Do you know that I know the meaning of it? It's the same word in my language. What does makar say you mean? Just tell me what I asked you first. Oh, okay. bring, 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 bring the crucifixion. Bring the somebody else. He said the to them, huh? Bring the fact that somebody else was put on the cross. The of God. Uh, this is going to go on, bro. It's like I'm tired of so this. That they may I've been going on for an hour and a half. Then. And may indeed hear but not understand, lest they should turn and be forgiven. So who is deceiving here? Bro, we did one. You did misquote the words. Now you bring I, another. I I've been I here for an hour and a half with you. I quoted Okay, you. I've you wasted enough of my time on him. He keeps deceiving. Me. He keeps bringing the same. I just read it. No, you read the misquote it again. Okay. Read the whole chapter. Read the whole context. Okay. Then is, come to me. Firstly, what does the text say here? Read the whole chapter. Then no. we'll talk. Game is up. Go, what? That's you cherry pick the verse. I not cherry pick. Butchered it. Game you. is up Three for you. Apples. For you, yeah, where your God, your is, God your... is a deceiver, is a mucker. No, Bible does Allah, not say that. Allah, Allah is a deceiver. One more. Allows deception, no deceiver. Uh, yes, one more. He, allows he allows it. Deception. He allows them their wish. Hang on, one more. Not making them no, no, no. deceiving. Your Janah making today, your, your, your yeah, you're right. Mansur, who was put on the cross? Don't be scared of the Bible. Yeah. You can read no, but who was put on the cross though? And the Lord said to him. By what means? And he said, I will go out and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. Who's talking and to he who? he said, you are to entice him and you shall succeed. Go out and do so. Who's, who, who's talking to who? Who's who is talking to who? Who's talking to who? Who's oh. talking to who? <laughs> God oh, prophets. he doesn't know. He's you are a prophet of God. God Come on God with speaking. the story. God is speaking. Give the story. God is speaking. Let people know what the story is talking about is and then say, Hang on. I'm not looking at your words right now. You, know you are not? Because you're misquoting it. Sitting in your pants. No, because you keep lying. You one lies out of another. God deceives. No. Yahweh does not deceive. Allah is a deceiver. Allah is a deceiver. Allows deception. Allows deception of the people. Wicked of heart, he allows their 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 deception to them. You need to find someone else. No, 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 no. You're done. Mansur, run away just as before. I know you're a runner.
I'll, I'll, I'll hold the camera, I'll hold the camera. So who's pulling the cross? No one, okay. Right, wrap right. up! Come to Jesus, Mansoor, it's not too late. We love you, Mansoor! Give up your moon god. Yeah, we love you, Mansoor. All right, wrap up, what with what with Help me, help me. Stop worshipping moon god. Help me, what with that? Stop worshipping moon god, Muslims. It's very apparent. When you put the moon on top of their, your mosque, you're worshipping the moon god, sin. Stop it. That was the, uh, an ab abomination right from the beginning. Yahweh hated the moon god and the idol worshippers. Stop it. You guys are all condemned because of this deception. Jesus is the way, truth, and the life. Come to him. In regards to Jeremiah, about his argument was that God uh, of the Bible deceives. So what's the context behind Jeremiah? Well, the, the God does not deceive. He allows people to do whatever they want. That does not mean he's creating the deception. Right. In Islam, Allah instigates the deception of the crucifixion. He makes the people think that he's dead and he's not dead. That's his creation. Nobody created that except Allah. By deceiving those people, he created Christianity according to Islam. That Christianity was created by the deception of Allah. That's ridiculous. How can a God create such deception and then let people follow and then 600 years after say, oh, I was just kidding. You guys fell for it. Sorry. Really? Please stop it. Any messages to those Muslims seeking the truth? Come to Jesus. He's the way, truth, and the life. He never lies to you. God does not lie. If the God has to lie, he's not God. Amen.